Hello, this is Bridget Rao with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, so it is March 13th. Today is all about be stronger than your excuses. So what you got going on for excuses? Time to get rid of them. So this is going to be an update for the Starseeds, Lightworkers, Empaths. We are in the midst of some heavy energies. And I do intend that my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, I hope that it finds you well. But whenever you find this reading, the, the energy may be, um, or the message may be something that you're needing to hear at that time. Okay? So this is just going to be a general reading, just to check in to see what, what kind of guidance you may need at this time. Um, we got the Two of Swords, oh goodness, with the Devil. So you could be at this place where you're trying to make some decisions in regards to things that are no longer serving you, okay? It could be people, places, things, um, but it's it's toxic, okay? And I feel like you know this. It's like you know this, but you're putting a blindfold on and you're like, I don't I don't want to see this, you know? Uh, empaths are great at that and Lightworkers and Starseeds kind of are just defaulted into being an empath because we have that heightened sensitivity to to this world we're here to help this world we love this world kind of but uh it's hard sometimes for us to make that decision to say okay you know what this isn't serving i gotta get rid of it sometimes we feel badly for the toxic things we feel badly for the people who play victim and unfortunately as empaths sometimes we can start to take that on where we become a victim of the circumstances but we need to empower ourselves to say you know what I ain't dealing with this anymore and it's funny because I'm looking over there at the other end of my table and I'm seeing the devil on the bottom of that deck I don't know if you can see her this is the devil again so you could be dealing with a person that's toxic in nature and it's like you need to get rid of it but you're kind of like oh, I'm just gonna put my blindfold on but for others of you, this could just be a job. This could be just some sort of decision that's been weighing heavily on you. Um, but I feel like spirit has been like pushing you, right? Somebody's pushing you to take that leap of faith. Spirit's like giving you the synchronicities, the little signs, the little um, nudges. Like, hey, it's time to go. Uh, it's time to get out of here. This isn't good for you. You know, giving you that clarity, saying, hey, it's time to, it's time to take that leap of faith. Because when you do you're going to find some clarity. You're going to free yourself from this. Okay. And look, she's blindfolded again. It, it's uh, maybe somebody that you love. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's, you know, it's your mom, your dad, just somebody that you've been in a long-term situation with. It, it just looks like, you know, this, I keep hearing love is blind. Love is blind. And that's great. You can love somebody, but you don't have to you don't have to have all these cords of attachments holding you back from clarity and from freedom and transformation. You see all these butterflies are about transforming and the butterflies are here too. So I feel like you may have been in a cocoon for a while or, you, you know, and this is hard for some people to digest sometimes, but like if we're not in a great headspace, the things that we're thinking actually attracts this in. If we're indecisive about stuff, if we're feeling other people's energies, if we're not, you know, cutting the cords to these things, this is what we're communicating out into the universe. So spirit is pushing you to take this leap of faith to say, all right, I'm cutting these cords. It doesn't mean I don't love this person. It doesn't mean I don't love this situation. Or Like you can have love for somebody or something, but not be, you know, depleted by it because you don't do any good in this energy anyway. So if there are people that are depending upon you, maybe you're a caregiver for somebody, um, or maybe you're married to somebody, or maybe the circumstances aren't, aren't so easy for you to just be like, oh, bye-bye, which I completely understand. I've been there, but I promise you when you start to take your power back and you start to cut these cords and you take that leap of faith to transform and start releasing yourself from this and taking this blindfold off, you're going to rise up, you're going to transform. And the way you start to communicate into the universe is going to ripple things back that are new, that are vibrant, that are beautiful. And then you're going to feel vibrant and beautiful. You're going to feel new. You're going to be renewed and you're going to start to attract this abundance from this clarity and this understanding and this new way of being. And I feel like you've been thinking about it, okay? This is something that's been in your mind. It's not just like some new little thing. And I think you've worked on it. Honestly, I feel like you've worked on it, but... Um, 
sometimes you just kind of turn this this blind eye and I feel like you don't want to you don't want to abandon something you know you you could even have like cut these cords or started to make the adjustments to leave this behind but if you're still looking back or if you're still observing in some sort of way this is somebody that's kind of like a, a, an observer somebody that either like checks up on somebody or watches somebody um, sometimes you know we almost go into stalker energy but you may feel like this person's going to feel left out in the cold or you may feel like you're going to be left out in the cold. Like if it's your mom or somebody that's like really close to you, you may feel really badly about this. And so you're like, I'm going to cut this out and you say it and you may do somewhat of it, but then you keep looking back, you keep looking back, you keep looking back. And then that's all those insecurities coming up. So <laughs> Queen of Swords is here to say, okay, you really got to stop. You got to stop all these behaviors because even if you cut the cords and you, you know, you release yourself from it, somebody's now outside of this thing. If you're looking on or you're thinking about it, you're thinking about the past, you're bringing your vibration down. So you've got to transform now. Now is the time to completely release yourself from any conflict that you are going through and your value and your worth is going to increase, which gives you the new beginning of value and worth, of abundance, of healing, of transformation, of all these beautiful things that were probably held back because you weren't allowing yourself to go pursue your passion or to you know allow your passion to go out into the world it's like look at you've been beaten and bruised and you're not giving up on something and I really feel like spirit saying it's time to reconcile with your inner child it's time to reconcile with yourself you know go within and see why are you hanging on to something or why do you feel responsible for something look at these cards why do you feel responsible to take care of everybody else except for yourself what do you need to tell that little girl inside of you that what does she need? You know, what is she in need of? Because that little girl is you. So I want you to think about this as like your little baby girl in your arms or your little baby boy in your arms. What are the things that you would tell that little boy or girl? How would you treat that little baby? You know, you would keep them warm. You would protect them. You would shield them. You would go to battle and cut all this shit off for them. You would want this to be illuminated for them. You wouldn't want them to feel this way, you know, observing and looking back and always thinking of the past, not living in the present, not, not pursuing what they're passionate about within their life. You would help them to cut this off. So you need to, you need to embody that energy. You need to be the mom. You need to say, enough's enough. Okay, you held on long enough, you're strong, you showed us this, but now it's time to, you know, manifest this loyal companion within yourself, to be gentle with yourself, you know, to, to charge forward with the passion and, and, and don't die on it, don't let yourself, you know, be that knight of wands who charges in really quickly but then falls flat, don't do that and don't allow people to do that to you, it's time to get into the chariot full force going forward towards balance, towards your passion. For some of you, you may, you know, be pursuing a person or, or a job or just a new way of looking at things. The eagle, it's a new perspective. But there's a lot of strength and a lot of passion coming through here. So it's like you're igniting these flames inside of you to move forward into something that's going to, you know, give you the love that you need so that you're not up at night in a place of anxiety and stress, that you're not juggling your value and your worth anymore so that you don't feel like a page or somebody that's like insignificant with your offers to this world so that you don't take your hermit modes and your reflective modes into a place of depression cutting yourself off from manifesting you know a union inside of yourself that's balanced and loved and nurtured and, and whole and complete feeling the energy of love and support this is like this is like a card of marriage like this is time for you to take this next level commitment to yourself to begin again with this new beginning of power and strength you've got like all the new beginning cards here if this is time for you to transform spirit is pushing you to become the magician to take the crap and turn it into gold so let me see um, another deck here we got the shamanic healing cards these are really nice cards let's see what else you need to hear at this time that you're tuning into this message retreat so again, I feel like this is time to retreat away from a certain situation or a certain experience, a certain way of thinking so that you can open yourself up to abundance. This is time for you to reap the benefits of all the work that you've done. I feel like you've really helped other people, but you, you, you put yourself on the bottom of that barrel. You know, you were like, oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. 
cord, 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 here, 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 here. Because you're giving away your energy too. Every time you think about somebody else or every time you give something to somebody else, these energetic cords go with these people and and then like it drains and it drains and it drains and it drains. So if you're not cutting your cords daily, you know, morning and night, you're you're gonna be giving away all your power, all your strength, all your energy for manifesting abundance. So it's time to retreat away from that so that you can grow. And you can ground. I thought it said grow, but I'm going to go with that because, you know, there's no, this is like a channeling. So it's time to ground into this new energy, into this abundance. Create yourself a sacred space so that you can unfold and unravel this energy of transformation. And it's going to be a slow and steady transformation, but it's a death. This is a transformation. This is a time to put a death to this shit that's held you back. And trust in divine timing and growth. There it is. So the feminine energy is coming through here, and the feminine energy is all about receiving. Masculine energy gives, feminine energy receives. And in, in this world, a lot of feminines, um, or the feminine energy within this world, you can be a masculine anyways and, and you know relate with this. We've got it wrong. Like The feminines are like, give, 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 but they're actually supposed to be the receivers, and the masculines are supposed to be the ones giving. The masculines have the positive, and the feminines have the negative. So it's like, boop. You know, It's just like even with sex, the masculines have the penis, the women have the vagina. Give, receive. This is how the universe is supposed to work. So we need to let go of those old ways of being and allow yourself to receive, to be receptive, so that you can grow and you can heal. Stop giving everything away to people who are just take, 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 take. You're supposed to receive and that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to manifest abundance. And I'm not saying like women are supposed to like, like the man's supposed to go to work and provide her everything, but it's it's an energetic sense. It's a, a sexual thing. It's everything. It's, it's, a, it's supposed to be give and take too. Like you're not, the feminines are always giving, giving, giving and chasing and chasing and chasing after something in their lives. And this depletes them because that's not what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to receive the divine divine energy in a flow and let go of the things that have held you back. Yes, you can go after your goals. Yes, you can give to people, but only if you're receiving, only if you've been, you know, grounded into this place of abundance. If you're not in a state of, of having everything around you that's all set and good, you're not somebody that's even, you know, in a place to give, then you're not you're giving you're giving too much and you're never going to be able to receive because there's there's no groundwork for it. So I really feel like passionate about this for some reason, but I think it's because I relate with it so much. You know, I've been, I've done this before, like I've just given everything away. And then you get into this place of anger and resentment because you're giving and you're giving and you're giving to these people and, and you're not integrating, you're not receiving. You're not allowing yourself to, to, to get what you're supposed to get. So this is a time of new beginning where you're, you're now going to open up to receiving all of the abundance, all of the energies that are going to assist you in transforming and transmuting the energies that are around you at this time that may be making you feel unsteady. Here's the devil. This is really, this is it. All right, so we got the King of Cups and the Devil. The Devil is open the forbidden you. Discover your secrets, fears, phobias, and demons. Embrace your beautiful darkness. What has been long hidden? Come into wholeness with yourself. So again, this is a huge time of transformation. You know, go within and face your own darkness. Don't be worried about everybody else's darkness. And, and if you have this stuff inside of you, you're going to attract it by others, okay? So you want to go into that darkness and heal the stuff that's in there. Embrace it, nurture it, you know, allow yourself to receive from it, learn from it, grow, but then release what isn't serving you. And this is Capricorn energy. But whatever stuff that is in there, you've got to face it because your phobias, your demons, all of that stuff is manifesting into your reality because you're, you're, you're not w working with it. You're not healing it. So you're attracting it. So now it's time to release that stuff and to transmute that stuff so you can open up to the love. This is the King of Cups. Order in marriage and structure in love and relationships, innocence, courtship, jealousy, betrayal, bitterness, separation, reconciliation and union, wise, compassionate, loving, loyal and forgiving, a strong heart. So this is a perfect representation. You may have been hurt by people in your life. That doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic thing, but it could have been friends that were jealous of you or you were jealous of somebody else. This could be, you know, people that have been bitter with you or you could have had bitterness with others and resentment with others. You could have had this anger because you've been giving and giving and giving from somewhere that you don't have anything to give from. 
So you need to reconcile and get into this place and use that wise, compassionate energy inside of yourself to forgive yourself, forgive others, and know that you have a strong heart so you're open to receive the love that the universe wants to give to you. But it starts with self-love. When you start practicing that self-love, love comes to you from an outside source because that's how the universe works. The universe gives you what you are open to receive and you're open to receive what you're giving out or what you're thinking or what you're feeling. And so it's, it's, you know, the power of attraction, but it's more than that because it's not just thinking a thought, it's the feelings, it's the actions that you're taking. So it's time to get to the, the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. So whatever this is resonating within your life, number 22, which is about our thoughts, whatever you were thinking about when I was talking about all this, whether it was a person, a place, or just a way you've been, Recognize what this is all about. Go into that darkness. Go into that shadow self. Work with your inner child. I really feel like a lot of you need to work with your inner child um, to heal this. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. I feel like this is the problem, okay? This isn't telling you to, like, you've already done it, okay? You've already done that. Stop. I feel like this is saying, like, this is that issue. This is the heart of the matter, is that you've been doing for everybody else, but you haven't been doing for you, okay? I know it's kind of contradictive to what, what I'm talking about, but reading it intuitively with what's coming through, the heart of the matter is that you've been doing something for someone else, and you need to start doing it for yourself and get into this mode of forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So I, I really feel like this is the energy of those people who are, like, caregivers for somebody else or they have a husband that that leaves them depleted all the time or their friends just take 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 or you're the person at work that does everything and everybody else just kind of skates by this is time to forgive those people but then to set those healthy boundaries so that that it doesn't continue to manifest into your world We have speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. So I feel like this is telling you to like do mirror work. Go sit in front of the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are. You know, tell yourself like, I love you. I, you are be like, I am beautiful. I am abundant. I am healed. I am whole. Start speaking towards yourself in a way that's going to release you from these burdens that you're thinking. Because I feel like a lot of this is in the mind. The, the sword's energy is our mind. It's a strife within our mind that, that we stay stuck within. Feeling responsible for everybody else. Feeling responsible for the way things go or the way they don't go. So you need to start transmuting that and start talking to yourself through loving through loving words and through taking loving actions, giving yourself some gifts, giving a small token expresses your love. So I, you know, I feel like this is, you know, saying to give it to somebody else, but I feel like you need to give this gift to yourself. You need to treat yourself to something else and you need to ask for help. Okay. You need to get honest and say like, you know what? I need help. What is it really that you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support that you need. You know, give yourself the gift of receiving this stuff, of, of opening up and knowing that you are a worthy person of love. You don't deserve to feel like this. You don't deserve to give everything away to other people, whether you're a man or woman too. Like, I don't feel like this is just women. This is men that have like an imbalanced inner child that in their feminine energy inside of them is making them give to everybody or be like the pushover. You know, like, oh, we're taking your car oh do you have gas money oh do you have this oh can i sleep here oh can i take that do you mind if i eat this like that that little shit adds up okay and you got to take back your power and you got to get honest with people and express these boundaries and say listen it's important that i speak truthfully in it, but in a loving manner that i need an ending of this this is this is an ending of that this is that transformation of that and you got to start asking these people to help you because you've probably given everything you have to give away so now they need to start giving back you know it needs to be give and take in this in this energy so let me get you i'm gonna get you one of these cards see who you could call on for help these are the keepers of the light Krishna, devotion, trust your spiritual guidance, your commitment has been recognized, and you are loved unconditionally. So call on Krishna to assist you for the devotion that you've given away to everybody else. And we have Commander Ashtar here for call to action. Take charge and lead by example. Walk your talk. 
So, you know, this is time for boundaries. This is time for healing. Devoting yourself to these actions that are going to transmute, that you're going to speak your truth. See all this blue energy? This is connected to your throat chakra. This is time for you to stand up. Speak your truth. Say, no more. I can't give any more. I need to put an end to this. I need to, you know, have you guys help me. I need, I need to be honest with what I need help with in my life. And then because you're going to do that, Ganesh is going to bring you abundance, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So it's like when you take this action and you're devoted to it, you speak your truth and you have those healthy boundaries, the abundance is going to start to manifest faster for you. Things are going to come in quicker and quicker and quicker. Magic is manifesting ISIS. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So call on Ganesh and, and ISIS to assist you in, in getting you know, your abundance rolling. And again, look at all this blue but first you got to say all right i'm taking action i'm going to become devoted to this truth of mine i'm going to start asking people for help i'm going to start receiving from others you're probably one of those people that when someone gives you a compliment you're like oh yeah thank you like you don't know how to receive it or if somebody gives you a gift you feel weird about or you feel like you're going to give them something back just allow yourself to receive. The feminine energy inside of you needs to be balanced. Whether you're a man or woman, call this into action. Start doing meditations to balance the divine feminine. Allow yourself to receive. Ask for help. Put up boundaries. Speak your truth. When you don't want to do something, say it. Don't feel guilty about saying no. Because that, again, if you say no and then you're thinking about it or reflecting about it, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that, blah, 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 blah. Cord, 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 cord. And believe me, I struggle with this. This is resonating hardcore for me because I, this is what I do you know like I had an example a little while ago tonight that I'm thinking about and it's like I give 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 when I need to receive <laughs> so you know that when you start allowing this stuff to happen things are going to start manifesting so set your goals your visions to see yourself receiving this so that you can transmute this stuff out of your life so that you're not attracting these experiences these people these places these things these ex these like and i don't even think it's necessarily people are like trying to be this way it's just that you've attracted it because of the way that you have been energetically you know what I mean? The circumstances that, that fall around you are because you've allowed them to manifest in that way. So I really feel like the message for you at this time is to kind of just, you know, ask for some help and to, to start working on self-love, nurture yourself, love yourself, you know, take a day off and uh, don't feel guilty about it. Okay, so I hope that this assists you. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, if it resonated for you, you can like it. If it didn't, you can dislike it. I do. I caught up on all my my private readings. I do have other things that I have on my books for this week, but I am gonna start. I'm gonna you know re start recording a bunch of uh, different things, different topics. I promise they're coming. I actually had somebody comment recently, um, like a whole list of things that they'd like to learn about. So I'm working on getting those types of videos out to you. I did start a Patreon and I did start a Vimeo account, but I haven't launched them yet, but they're coming. So there's a lot of new things coming. Um, now that I've worked off all my readings, I have like seven days readings free so I can work on some of these other things. I plan to record a bunch of stuff and then roll it out as I, as I go. So it's gonna. It's not gonna be like an energy check in. It will be more so like a, a video of like what you need. And my intention will be set that they roll out at the perfect time for, so that people receive them when they need them. So I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. Whatever's going on for you during this Mercury retrograde, know that it. You know a lot of miscommunications happening. Think twice before you take actions. Um, maybe reach out to people and ask them something before you just assume something or, you know, feel badly about things. Uh, make sure you're setting those healthy boundaries. I, I really feel like there's a lot of stuff going on galactically that is, is really impacting us. I may do a channeling, um, a trans channeling to connect with the emissaries to ask them some questions about what's going on collectively right now. So if you're interested in that, you can let me know down below. I know you guys, a lot of you guys um, saw my videos in the beginning where I was doing the trans channeling. So if you've got questions or something or things you'd like to see, throw it down in the bottom. I promise I'm coming back with a list maker. I'm going to write down everything that, that people have asked for and I, I will get it out. But I am a one-man show running an in-home business, this business, another channel, private readings. I can only do so much. But I'm making that dedicated effort to do it and take time for me as well. Okay, so I need to receive. 
So if you'd like to donate, there's a link down below. If you'd like to send a deck, there's an Amazon wish list down below, but don't feel like you have to. <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> I just told you guys all of this. I'm like, just fucking receive, Bridget. Oh, my God. See, I'm an empath starseed lightworker, too. I have these issues. Uh, thank you guys very much. In Mune, namaste.